watching Sharon, God, stay me, um, who does um, Sin Free and Low Sin Meals um, YouTube. She's really good. I love Sharon. She's so funny. She has me in hysterics. And she's a dog lover. <laughs> she has a dog. Um, so I've been watching her. She was making a carrot cake. So I made a carrot cake not so long ago and um, I did a video and I deleted the video because I'm an idiot but I did say I would do it again so um, after watching Sharon I thought hmm quite fancy to eat one of those now so this is for Sharon so yeah Sharon this is your carrot cake my love hope you enjoy it <laughs> so I'm back from mum's I've been to Burnham back from there and I am going to make Sharon's carrot cake. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move it all over here so you can see it a bit better. So this is going to be quick. Get my spray. This is brilliant this spray. It sprays really evenly and really well. Really nice. That's my spray. So I've got half a cup of um, self-raising flour going in there, two eggs, a cap of caramel, that's optional. So that's caramel flavouring, some cinnamon, <laughs> put loads in there, oh. oh dear, some natural yoghurt, So I'm going to give that three dessert spoons, some sweetener, a couple of peak teaspoons, and I'm going to give that a mix. You could put some um, chopped nuts in if you wanted to. Great carrot. Right, that took two minutes, roughly. So, 
I'm now going to put all that in the microwave for eight minutes on high. There we go. In an 850 microwave. And this will feed a family of four. Um, so the only thing you've got to really sin is the flour, so half a cup of flour. Um, so there we go. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, my microwave is pinged. So let's get it out and have a look. Let's move that. Oh, oh, oh. Right, I you come. There it is. So, yeah, that's cooked. Get yourself a knife. Let's go around the edges a little bit. And then, oh, ruddy door. Right, then you need a cooling rack and a plate. hand oh no I didn't need to <laughs> and this is a little bit like um, a, you know like a syrup sponge this is like a um, carrot cake sponge steamed pudding at the moment so you could eat it like that hot with some um, low-fat yogurt fromage fray creme fraiche you know, if you had the sins, you could also use maybe um, some low-fat custard, something like that. And that would be rather nice. Um, or you could wait for it to cool down and do something else with it. We'll wait for it to cool down. I'm just waiting for me, um, me thing to, me pudding to cool down. While I'm waiting, I'm just going to paint a rock. So I've done the outline of what I want and it's going to be a Christmas theme. So um, yeah, so I've done the outline and I'm just going to fill in how I want it to look. I'm just going to put a line in there actually. Put that in. In there. And I always use um, felt tips. So what I initially do is get my rock um, that I want and I um, bring them in and I give them a good old wash and a bit of a scrub in the sink and then I get some um, white paint and I um, give them a good old go with some white paint. I don't tend to paint them all over with the white paint. I just tend to do the, the sort of top. Um, that takes, you need to let that sort of dry initially for quite a while. Um, the white paint. It's best to do it for a good few hours to let that dry. And I'm just going to go and do the inside in a slightly different colour. going to get a green, let's use a big one, just going to put some circles, and I'm just going to fill in with the green. and I'll keep going round and then I'll come back to you in a minute because it's a bit boring watching me just do a load of green 
so that's the green and then I'm just going to finish off the ribbon going around the outside I mean obviously I'm doing this quite quickly And then I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna do fill these circles in. Another blue one, another blue one, and a red one. Those blue ones didn't come out very bright, did they? Could have done with being a bit brighter. They're not very bright. And then all I'll do is just do a little bit of um a bit of detail a bit more detail in there. So I'll sort of go around the edges a little bit with my black, around the green, making it look a little bit wispy, so to speak. I'm doing like that and then where I've got my ribbon I'll just outline my ribbon And then just go around my little baubles that aren't very colourful. <laughs> They're not very bright, but you get the idea. And there's kind of a little Christmas wreath. And then what I would do is oh, get pen all over my hands. Ugh. I would get some varnish. I've got here and this is just a normal tin of clear varnish yeah and just dip my paintbrush in and I'm just gonna go on the little baubles to start with just putting a little dab of varnish like so, I've just got to dash upstairs and I'll be back. Right, so I've just been upstairs and I've got a little bit of glitter. So I've got green, red and gold. And I'm just going to sprinkle some green there and there. And I'm going to do a little bit of red. On there, and a little bit of gold on there. Oh, I missed one. A little bit of red. Did I varnish that one? I think so. On there. I'm just going to tip the excess off. So 
there we go we have a little glittery Christmas wreath on a stone um, what I would probably do I would wait for that to dry before I then would give it a paint a coat of varnish all over and I'll probably just then write maybe around the edge um, something like you see it these are double-ended one ends a lot thicker than the other end um, I don't know so just ho ho and maybe Two thousand and seventeen, something like that. And then once it's all decorated, you can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> but yeah, it's just you know something I thought I'd show you. <laughs> um, and if you wanted to, you could just sprinkle a light once you've put the varnish on. So once you've put it on all of it, so let's see if I can just do a little bit of it. It does um, bring the colours out once you've um, once the varnish has dried. Um, it makes it pop out a little bit more, if you know what I mean. And then, if you want to put them outside, obviously, if you've varnished them, they can go out in all weathers. Um, you know, doesn't matter if they get wet because you've protected them with the varnish. So yeah, so. Just give it a, like I'm doing, a coat of varnish all over. And that will dry clear. I know it looks yellowy, but it, it will actually dry clear. And then maybe just give it a very light sprinkle of red. And there we have it. A little Christmas stone. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. So that's that. I'll put it still not ready, so I'm going to clear this mess up and um, hopefully it will be cool and we can go on to the final stage right so the final stage of this carrot cake is you're going to want some soft cheese lighter 40 percent now this is only if you're doing this topping okay and you're going to want about a quarter of a tub of that a teaspoon of icing sugar which you will need to sin now you can either use your caramel or you can put some cinnamon in or you could put some lemon or some orange or you could just leave it like that if you want I'm going to put in about a quarter of a cap of the caramel in mine and I'm going to give that a good mix Make sure you give that a bit of a taste to see if it's, you know, to your liking. Mmm, nice. Right. So I'm just going to get my cake down from the window. I've just been told to take a look out the lounge window. 
is a surprise. Oh! Thank you! I have a lovely red, beautiful, clean car. Aww. He's a darling. <laughs> he's washed my car. Dare I ask him if he's Ubered it inside? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> right, so, got my pud, cake, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to lift it off, put it on there. Can you see? And then I'm just going to pour on our topping. So, give it a little help. Generally, just let it fall down. Mm, very nice. Like so. And there we have it. Carrot cake. So, I'll give it a little cut. Ta -da. I'm just going to give it a picture from my Instagram. Right, so taste test. <laughs> Here we go, Sharon. <laughs> oh my god, before I trash my kitchen. <laughs> right, ready? Mm. I know what this tastes like because I've had it before. It's lovely, really nice. It's very light. You can see the bits of carrot in there and the sultanas. It's very nice for a microwave keg. And for a low fat cake with no butter, it's blooming lovely. Give it a go, see what you think. <laughs> Don't want some. And um, let me know. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. A bit random with the stone painting thrown in and my car wash. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And um, yeah, cheers. Bye then.